All right, so a couple good things to talk about here as we wind down the week. Showers and storms were done. Humidity is also drunk, but in its place, we're seeing a layer of smoke coming back in. So as you're wanting to try and get out and about and enjoy the nice weather, you have to keep in mind air quality is going to become poorer and poorer as the day goes on. A little bit of a murky look to the sky. We have some clouds mixing with the fog and also that smoky haze this morning as we take a live look out in Glens Falls. As the sky continues to brighten up, we'll be able to spot that smoke a little bit easier. In fact, more is going to be coming our way as we go into the afternoon. So set up. Took a cold front through yesterday, brought us those afternoon showers, rumbles of thunder. Now we've opened the door for that thick plume of smoke to come southward. We were talking about it yesterday, that it was really uh, impacting and making air quality dangerous in some cases through parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Well, now that is starting to shift eastward, moving closer to us in the capital region. Starting off this morning, we're still okay air quality wise. We're in the yellow for most of the capital district heading over into western New England, but showing up not too far away in parts of the Mohawk Valley, central New York. We're down into the orange and even the red, which indicates it's unhealthy air for everyone. Not going to quite make it there today, I don't think, with the air quality, but certainly a heads up, especially for those of you that have underlying health conditions. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago when that really thick plume of smoke came in and really just choked out the entire northeast. So I uh, certainly want to listen to our bodies. Be mindful if we're going to be outside exercising. Maybe best to do that early this morning as again, air quality is going to become poorer and poorer as the day goes on. Air quality alert out there for a reason that's going to continue through midnight tonight. Taking a look at future cast, any breaks for sunshine? will be some hazy sunshine with that smoke layer overhead. There's an area of low pressure sitting over the northern parts of Vermont that may send just enough energy our way that we could get a very isolated shower chance. That's mainly north and east of the capital region. Skies will continue to clear through the overnight. That's going to allow some areas of fog to settle in and mix with the haze as we wake up tomorrow. Then as we draw closer to the weekend, our rain and storm chances will be on the way up. So I'll have more on that coming up here in just a minute. Today, clouds mixing with that hazy sunshine, a stray shower north and east. Not quite as humid. Temperatures, though, will be warming back up into the 80s. Many of us registering close to 80 degrees this afternoon. Then tonight, it's mild lows in the 50s to near 60. The haze is going to stick around through the day tomorrow. Waking up front, it could be more patches of fog. Isolated shower or storm chance coming in late day tomorrow. Most of the day is fine. Over the weekend, we'll be dodging more showers, storms as well, especially on Sunday. I could spill over into Monday, although it looks like most of those storms will be exiting in time for Independence Day. But temperatures, they're heating up. We'll be running in the mid to upper 80s through the early days of July. Thank you, Jill.